Welcome to the Civic Commons. We're really glad that you're here. I'm Dan Mulford, Curator of Conversation, and I'm going to show you a little bit about how this place works. If you look right up here, there's a few different places you can click. There's Home, Conversations, Issues, and Community. Way up over here is this thing called Help Build the Commons. That is so important, it gets its own video, which we hope you'll watch after you're done watching this one. Now, Home. This is a place you can start, and it's also the place where you can keep track of some of the important things that are going on. It's pretty straightforward. Let's go to Conversations. Conversations are the heart of the Civic Commons. When you click on Conversations, it will take you to a listing of all the conversations currently happening at the Civic Commons, and you can browse through them and choose the ones that you want to follow. Now, we all know what passes for conversation at a lot of websites. It's ranting, it's name-calling, it's off-topic, it's crazy, it's noise, frankly. The Civic Commons is going to be different. Number one, we identify ourselves. Because you can't really build community if you don't know who you're having a conversation with. Number two, when you make a contribution to a conversation, it's not just a comment on what's happening. You can respond to something somebody else has said, you can ask a question, you could fact check a statement, but you can also upload a video. You can respond with a link to something you found that's interesting, a news report or an academic report that you think is relevant to the conversation. And maybe most importantly, you can suggest an action because conversations are great, we all know that, but conversations that lead to action are even better. And number three, we ask that everybody keep our principles in mind. That means we're all going to be credible and civil, optimistic and transparent, all of that. And you get to rate each other's contributions and the whole conversation based on those principles and also based on how productive the conversation seems. On to issues. These are basically categories that we're using to keep the conversations organized. Each issue gets its own page, and we've started with some brief descriptions. We want you to add to those descriptions with your blog postings, your contributions, relevant academic reports that you found or news reports that you found, anything that you find that you think is relevant and would help your community understand the issue a little bit better. Finally, there's community. This is the social media networking part of the comments. Everybody gets a profile with the basics, but what really goes into your profile is all of your activity. So all of your blog postings, your contributions, the uh, awesome YouTube videos that you're uploading, the actions you're suggesting, all of that goes into your profile. And by the way, organizations get profiles too. So there you have it, home, conversations, issues, community, and that help build the commons thing up there. It's enough to get you started. And uh, the best thing to do right now is to figure out the rest just by participating in some conversations. So if you've got a question or you find out something's not working and you want to let us know about it, just head over to Help Build the Commons and we'll get right on it and we'll get right back to you. Let me just say too that this is a beta environment. All that means is there's a lot of room for improvement. We're relying on you to help us make this place as great as it can be. So for now, you decide which conversation to join and we'll meet you there.